Hey guys, Makano86 here. I just kind of want to do another tutorial on how to start uh, uh, MMORPG Tycoon 2. Uh, this is going to be a very simple tutorial, just kind of how to get started and everything like that. So, uh, here's what you do. You go up to New Game, and you select, you double-click it as you do a normal desktop. Uh, let's, cut it with, uh, let's keep it with Desert Blades. And we'll go, and we'll use this one here, Lionhead, and like that. So, you click Next. You can customize your name, and everything like that. You can just type whatever you want. Uh, let's click next. I'm just going to go for a combat one, so just click combat. Uh, each one of these have different uh, things here. You can get combat, story, role playing, p uh, PvP, uh, casual, social, and free to play. They all have their own challenges. Free to play is for more advanced players. I wouldn't suggest doing that for your first playthrough, but if you want to try to do it, hey, that's up to you. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to go for combat, so we're going to click next. Then, uh, now, these are the stats. Now, uh, these seem to be uh, things you can sit there and add on to. They have, uh, like, you know, advertising, which gives you more revenue as you uh, advertise. Uh, this is more for, uh, for more uh, ex uh, exploration players and like that. Basically, these are things that, how do you want to attract your players? So, that's the thing about it. It says socialization, so that means more social players. More people that are just talk and want more social interaction. Bling is for your combat-focused people. Those are the ones that want to go. They want to go to dungeons. They want to go. They want to kill mobs. They want to advance. They want to level up. That is the main motivation for them. Uh, the Gibbs is for player versus player. Mostly. That's where you get the killers in your uh, game. So uh, usually, if you do combat, you want these kind of these two things, maybe with this as well. Uh, so put your bling if you want to increase that, and then I'll get you more of the achievers. Is what what are actually called in the game. So you click next. Uh, so you go okay. I don't know that. Uh, you're not gonna play pl uh, play the tutorial because hey, you got me. So yeah, yeah. There's that. And then you go and you press create. Now it will get a little bit loud here. I do apologize, but. Uh, you can turn it down a little bit if you're ever like that. So you click create, and you're loaded into the game. And this is uh, actually one of my best favorite parts here. And yes, everything will be customized to you. So if your MMO said, I don't know, uh, monsters online, which I one of my things, it'll say monsters online. Anyway, so here's what you're gonna do. You see the landmass here. And everything like that. So you can click whatever landmass you want. And everything like that. It'll show your region and everything like that. So what you do is you go to the grid. The button right down here. And you'll notice everything goes dark. So what you do is you click here. And it'll say activate region. And so we're going to pick just this place right here. Activate it. So now that says this is it has a big one on it. And that only tells you what the level is of it. So you can sit there and go here. And you can select the uh, region level, and you can go on, and you click it again, so it goes up to two. Same thing with three, and then all the way down to one. That's how you set your uh, level for regions. Anyway, we're here to get everything started, so let's not go into that so much. Anyway, what you need, you need, you definitely need an inn. I usually go for one uh, large inn at first. This is going to be your starting area. You will probably need more, but this is just to get you started. So you need an inn, get yourself a tavern, you get yourself a potion shop. Well, you don't need the potion shop, but I like to put it in there, so hey, that's a little flourish for me. Don't worry about it. Uh, you definitely need a shop. I'm just lining everything up so that it does uh, kind of show you and everything like that. And then you need a blacksmith. Now you can, if you want to, throw down a landmark. Well, let's put that over here. Now you're biggest thing you need though is you need this this is your respawn point if you notice right now you can't do anything up here it says no upgrade so what you do is you put your respawn point up here you do and you put that you can put this wherever you want you can customize this entire area. this is just literally to get yourself started and then if you notice you turn around since you put down the graveyard you can do upgrade and that's you can sit there and do that but everything's not activated yet you're like okay well doesn't anything happen here's what happens you need to go to your network you need one of these bad boys. You need your uh, uplink. You click this. Then you sit there and it's like, okay, so it's a ball. And nothing's happening though. Basically, that acts as a bandwidth generator, if you will. And you see so you need a one of these things right here. You can do this and uh, build cable. You take the cable and you sit there, click it. And you click. You see how this is an area of an effect. So you click that there. And now everything in blue 
should sit there and now you see where everything is going to start going and we're going to start magically generating more uh that see how that's now longer flashing red that's no longer flashing red and that's no longer flashing red and if you notice along the along the cable here the cable will be spouting little things like that so and so everything now is activated now usually what i do is i usually go in and do do this so just kind of gonna, you know get a little bit more you know more area to four things we can do from here on you could sit there and all you need to do at this point is just create an npc area like this if you want to put in a quest uh, thing you can also do paths at this point you are started in your mmo you could sit there and just have that and the last thing you need to do is click this upgrade here and you need to do the starting point and you click release so once that gets us, it generates this building right here. And this is the last thing you need right here. You put this thing down here. And it'll generate uh, so, uh, here in a minute. And you'll see uh, what is going to happen coming up. Uh, stop talking for a moment here. Once it activates. And you'll see the arrow going. And there is your MMO. You get your nice good music. Everything like that, you get the presents. You always got a uh, thing for Australia. Definitely got to give credit to uh, Trevor here. Anyway, guys, I'll sit there and uh, this is MMORPG Tycoon 2. This is Desert Blades MMO. And that's your, that's your first player. And I am Malcano86. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys very much. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be trying to do more content like this as I go along. But anyway, I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much. And hopefully you enjoy this game. It is an amazing game. And thank Trevor for making it. Thank you guys very much.